you know, the Giants. And I think that's this week right here is probably more important than the first week of the season um, because, like I said, we, we are getting information that we could really start watching some of these guys. You know, of course, they got a new coaching style, but, you know, with the preseason, some of the guys have been out there playing around, um, in games so we could really see who we're going against and kind of how they blocking and stuff like that. So I think this week very important, you know, but, it, you know, it's still that extra week. So everybody's like, ah, oh, we got an extra week. But like I said, it, this week right here is, is, is very important for us. You guys feel like you're ahead of the game in terms of your preparation for the Giants at this point? I think we're on schedule. Like I said, having this extra week here is helping us out to get a jump start. You know, I'm sure it's, it's so much more that we have to watch. It's so much more that we have to prepare and get ready for the Giants. You know, I don't think you never can have enough information going into a game. So I think we just got enough. Um, hopefully, we can get a lot more. Hey, you see a guy like uh, Brett Kern, who was a rocker for so many years. You know. Basically, get beaten out in the summer. I mean, does that kind of is that kind of a reminder? I mean, you're going through your own business side of football too. Is that a reminder of you know the business side of football? I guess. Oh, for sure. But I mean, I just go back on my time when I first met Brett. You know. Um, you know, Brett ain't know who I was, you know, he was especially, you know, but just the relationship that I have gained with Brett, you know, just by him walking through here, you know, it's not a day that me and Brett don't speak to each other, you know, I mean, I don't think you can say that about a lot of guys, you know, just with him being a specialist, you know, that's just speak volume on him, you know, as a man himself. I, I'm going to miss Brett. Like I said it on Twitter the other day, the high fives coming off the field, you know, things like that. You know, uh, me not missing him, giving him a high five, the jokes we had on the sideline. Like I said, Brett was always, you know, high energy guy, you know, always had a smile on his face. I'm sure everyone going to miss Brett around here. You going to start a new tradition with Stonehouse now then? Um, I mean, <laughs> hey, hopefully, you know, he, not, I mean, props to Stonehouse. You know, he came in and um, even in the preseason game, he had a hell of a preseason. So I'm looking forward to him um, this offseason, I mean, this season, you know, to kick balls for us. Oh, yeah, the juice there, I mean, but, you know, take this weekend, um, you take this week, you know, to try to, like, like what we doing right now to get that head start on um, on the Giants and then helping us out big. You know, it's kind of knowing what type of runs or what type of quarterback we about to get at a face, what type of running back we about to get at a face. Everyone knows, like Saquon Barkley, we know who the running back is. And, um, you know, it just kind of getting us juiced up, I mean, personally, because I know they're going to try to come in and run the ball. And I just, everyone see all the hype around Saquon coming in and saying, you know, F everyone else, you know, it's about me this year. So I know they're going to try to get in the ball, and it's our job up front to stop the run and whatever it may be. So I'm excited, um, you know, take this weekend and kind of not, I guess, take a break, but, you know, kind of reset and get ready for next week. And like I said, I'm excited. Week one is here. Yeah, I know yep. last year is last year, but there's got to be some part of you that you know, week one last year didn't go well. Like you want to make sure that that does not happen again. I'm um, just preparation, you know. We we um, you know, and I think that's also just when we get into that game. How can we start faster? You know, like I said, that just from every game we had last year, even the game we won. You know, how can we start fast and finish strong? And I think that's going to be the mindset of going to the game, taking all the things that we have got, especially from this week and next week. You know, we got this basically two weeks mark on the team. I mean, they got the same thing, but. If we could take all this information that we get this weekend, next week, go into the game and start fast, finish strong, we'll be okay. Yeah, it's definitely a little different. Uh, you know, noticed that yesterday too. And just you know, it's part of the game. Uh, it sucks, but you know, it's part of the business now. But uh, it's good seeing some familiar faces, uh, some guys you know in the room like Mason. Uh, it's my dog since day one, so it's just good having some of those guys back around now too. Yeah, I feel like a uh, big thing is just, you know, making the, the final adjustments, the final little quarter turns to kind of get ourselves right um, before the season starts. So that's, you know, just working like operation and, you know, like two minute drills, stuff like that, like things that, you know, you know, are going to come up during the season um, while also starting to prepare a little bit, you know, for the Giants. Yeah, I was going to ask you, is this almost this week almost like an extension of training camp where, like you said, you're going to start the game plan for the Giants, but also just fine to some of, you know, some of the areas of, of the, you know, the team and all that? Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's to me it's similar to like a, a, a bye week too. You know, you got a team that you're preparing for in, in another week, but you also have some time to, you know, do some things that just looking at yourself and looking introspectively and trying to get better that way too. 
how weird is it to come to work and not see almost 100 guys here, but now, you know, the 53 is set, at least for now. Yeah, yeah, it's different. You know, you get used to, you know, seeing those same guys, you know, over the last, you know, month or so or even more than that. Um, so it's tough, you know, seeing guys that you wish you, you, you saw again, but it's just part of the business and you just got to roll with it. And, you know, we just got to, we have something at hand right now, and that's to, you know, go win this first football game. You see how rosters change. I mean, you know, a guy like Brett Kern, who's been like a, you know, a, a rock here for mm. so many years, as happy as you are for a guy like Stonehouse to see him, you know, walk away. Is that kind of a reminder of the business side of football, I guess? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, because, I mean, I love Brett so much. I mean, he was one of the first guys, one of the first veterans I ever actually met because it was COVID, you know, my first year here. And it was a Zoom chapel. Uh, the very first thing of like our, our very first team activity was like a chapel on Zoom, and it was Mitch, Brett Kern, and Ben Jones, and it was me, this you know wide-eyed rookie, I had no clue what was going on. Uh, so he's been huge. Just I feel like big person to learn from um, in this locker room, and you know it sucks to see him go, but obviously you know that's just the the nature of the business, and you know Stonehouse got to you know step up to the plate, and I think he will. Right. Uh, just the reality that is the business, like you said, um, guys are going to come and go. You just got to come in and compete every day, and every day is a challenge. You're fighting for a position every day. So this is like a, is an extended practice week with no preseason game anymore. Right. What do you guys want to get done this week? Uh, you know, get back to the details and the basics, you know. It's a time for us to, you know, gather ourselves, collect ourselves. Um, we had a long uh, off-season with training and stuff, but now it's time to go out and you know, win some games. It's exciting to have an opponent now to kind of look towards and how excited for you as a defense to know what you have this year going into the season? No, definitely exciting. I mean, we're ready to get going. We're ready to get, get going in the games. And, you know, like, I, like you said, we have a, a team that has brought back a lot of starters from last year, and we also added some great pieces, so we're ready to go. Looking at the secondary right now, I think it's a great group, honestly. I mean, for me, it seems like the best group that I felt like we've had here as a whole, as a whole collective team. So, I mean, I know we're excited. I know guys know the talent we have on this team, and we're ready to show it. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> I told so many young guys, they don't even know the feeling of all these lights in front of their lockers, yeah. so it's a little different. Yeah, all right. Well, things are getting real now. It's mm -hmm. technically extended game week. How are right. you feeling about everything and the way it's shaking out? I feel great, man. Obviously, this is a week where, you know, we're able to get a little bit ahead on the Giants, uh, being able to do some installs and things like that. So uh, that excitement and that urge is starting to build up, knowing that, you know, game week is almost here. Yeah, guys seem kind of excited, and they feel like it's the turner's corner now. Like the corner's turn? Nah, you're good. I got you. <laughs> nah, for sure. I mean, it, it's funny because I think also at the same time as one of those weeks where obviously we have a couple of days off coming into this weekend. So it's like really making sure that we're taking each day and make sure that we're not wasting any reps. We're taking all this stuff serious because at the end of the day, these are things we're going to go over next week as well. But to be able to get those uh, those reps uh, early this week uh, is going to be valuable for us going into next week and feeling real confident about the game plan going on uh, next Sunday. Yeah, you said more than a week ago that you already started doing some work on the Giants. You feel like you're ahead of the game as far as your prep for the Giants? Yeah, I mean, and the things that I was really going over was more personnel stuff. Obviously, they've had some injuries, I think, um, a receiver that was having a really big camp for those number 15, yeah, I'm not Colin sure. Johnson, yeah, Collins. Yeah. I think he tore his Achilles, yeah. which is very unfortunate. But I know coming out of that camp, he was having a really good camp, and he went down. But obviously, we know Galladay, who's a big body guy, can go up there and hot point the ball. But obviously, Kadarius Toney and uh, Wondell Robinson, who's their second-round pick, they're kind of in the same mode, those short, small, shifty guys who's going to be working the slide jet motions. Probably going to get them, you know, pretty much get them the ball in space and make, let them make moves. Uh, but obviously, Saquon Barkley is going to be their bell cow. Uh, we're going to have to make sure that we're really gang tackling this guy because we played him in 2018. That was the big thing we talked about is like, we don't want to have too many open field tackles with just one guy. We want to make sure everybody's at the point of attack, making sure this guy doesn't have any explosive runs. You look at this, you know, the 53-man roster is set, at least for now. There, I'm sure there are going to be changes between sure. now and the opener. Is it weird looking around and not seeing, like, you know, 60 guys as opposed to just, you know, you and 52 other dudes? Yeah, obviously, you know, our room, I think we started with, like, 17, something like that, a lot of guys, and then we only got, like, 11. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's a, a thing around the league, man. Every time these past few days is always a tough day because, obviously, you're saying goodbye to some guys that, you know, have been busting their tail here, whether it's an undrafted or drafted. It's a tough day, tough few days in the league. But uh, it's, it's, it's what happens. And I think it's always going to be a yearly reminder for myself and just anybody that uh, obviously this thing is fluid, but 
you know, you're not really promised anything and you just take everything day by day and just, you know, hope for the best.